with little to no experience building apps from scratch, I will start this journey to build a microsas and you can tag along to see what I'm learning and hopefully how I get from never have done this before to something that works in production that people actually use. So what are we building? I want to scratch my own itch, which means to solve a problem that I have in my everyday uh, process as a product manager, I uh, interview users, and I want to take the data, raw output of those interviews, the words, the conversation of what I type during the interview, and put it into something with AI in the background to come back with insights from those interviews, take the raw input and get nice clean output with action items. So as you can see, I'm starting with a mock. I'm just using Scala for this, which is super convenient and fast. Users can just drop the text, uh, the input text, just above the submit button. Here's the text for what they'll get. And then one day, maybe there's going to be a full breakdown version where I'll help people get much deeper into the analysis. I'm just taking these to ChatGPT. Here's the prompt, right? So I'm just copy pasting. Uh, I'm using ChatGPT 4 so I can put the image and say given this photo yada 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 then after one response where the suggestion for the tech stack is perhaps Webflow I'm saying let's use code because we want to code this and React and Next.js come as options when I say I want to use a JS stack a JavaScript based stack and I'm gonna opt in for Next.js I've heard it's a great platform uh, it seems like it comes right off the shelf, uh, very well configured for a single page app SPA with good SEO pre-configured reasonable um, defaults. So I'm going to go ahead and see what's the next three steps here. And I'm just picking up everything from scratch from, um, from the train I'm setting up next. And as you can see, right off the box, we get the template up and running, which is pretty cool. I'm using VS Code for that. And then it's just to start with tickling with the app slash page TSX. So I would assume TSX is probably a, a sense for TypeScript, which I've never used, but you know, we're going to pick it along the way. So next up is the form. So basically most of what this is, is a, is a form that people are going to put their text into and let's see if we can set it up. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting for ChatGPT, I'm going to let Copilot, which is the integrated AI in VS Code, run and get me a form. We run into our first really nice bug. So, apparently in Next.js, we need to tell in advance uh, if a page is a, is a client uh, or a server page. So we need to use the use client. You, some of you probably are familiar with that. And while there are certain things we can do here to overcome this really annoying bug, I'm banging my head against the wall for quite some time. And eventually after some trial and error and back and forth with ChatGPT, the kind of quotes I've used is just, just doesn't work. Just need to use a single quotes. So after some tinkering with the use client situation, after I realized how exactly I should configure this with the single quotes, there we get this beauty. I'm quite happy with this as, you know, after three or four hours of work from idea to this, not even MVP, I have this form. Obviously there's nothing that captures the, the input that handle the submits button that takes the input and puts it in a database. And there's no connection to an API, but that's going to be, you know, our day one for this idea. It's uh, responsive and honestly, it's a good progress to get started with. This is basically what we've got so far. So the front end, I'm just going to create this diagram because for me, the, the mental map of what's in there is very important, makes things uh, more clear. If you want to see what I'm going to be doing next, so just make sure to subscribe and you'll see the next episode where we're going to set up the project on Firestore so we can actually log the data in. We're going to connect to the backend. It's going to be a lot of fun.